Don't ever change for anybody Don't ever change your soul Don't even listen to him He don't know nothing at all Try not to get too involved But really it's breaking my heart How you keep changing for him Never forget who you are You butterfly You butterfly today My day was decent I got some sleep today so I'm happy I'm real cheerful today And today is going to be a great night at work And I'm taking y'all with me It's raining And I don't know about y'all But rainy nights are good nights for me Because everybody is tired The rain puts them to sleep and yeah, I just feel like tonight is gonna be a good night. I didn't bring my tripod, that's the only thing I'm mad about. So I'm about to get ready and go in here. And I'm gonna have a good night. Well, we gonna see, right? <laughs> well, we about to see. This is the bag that I'm carrying, just a little bit bag. Um, usually I have a cute bag, but I haven't really been carrying my bags like that. Not for any particular reason, but Come on, come to work with me. Keep me company. So these phones are essential. They are a necessity for the shift so the black phone is an emergency phone i won't go into too many details about that the orange and black phone is if a pre, uh, um, resident presses their pendant all of the information will pop up that you need and you can go answer the call have somebody answer the call or you can also see who answered the call because their name will pop up you can text uh each other you can call each other it's basically a phone for all staff so here i'm just doing my due diligence at the beginning of the shift of course i want to take you guys our time tour at the nurse's station here we have the virus kit isps and where we connect those little phones it's like a charging station this is just um this drawer has multiple things in it as you can see the things for the residents and then at the top there's like sheets where you, you need to fill out um med errors and all that stuff and here is my cart for the night i'm going to open her up for you guys in the top we just got eye drops and tape and alcohol pads second drawer those are the meds and the marks and then the third drawer was PRN, some extra cups and stuff like that. Uh, of course, over um, on this unit, there's less people, so there's less medication. I'm just reading up on some of the residents and reading some old documentation before I started to clean and sanitize the office. I always want to make sure I know about the residents. It is a must because I am agency. So make sure you do your due diligence. Stay ahead of the game. If you were wondering why I'm cleaning my carts and it's not the end of the shift, 
it's because I clean my cart at the beginning of my shift and at the end of my shift because I just never know if the person before me actually cleaned it. So I'm just reading a book in my little bit of downtime. It's called The Delaney Sisters. It's a good read. So far, I haven't even gotten to six pages yet because I was getting interrupted, which I knew I would. It wasn't a big deal, but I really wanted to read at least one chapter. That didn't happen. Someone started um, asking questions about a resident and I'm not a person who likes to just give medication. That is not what we're there for, to push medications down residents' throats. We are here to assess them and make sure we do everything possible before giving some type of medication. We don't just give out medication to make a resident calm down, go to sleep. There are things that you need to do before giving a medication. I don't know if that makes any sense at all to anyone, but that's just how I feel. So here I'm just looking to see what this person takes and what can be given. If, and you know, if... I decide to give it, um, which I ended up having to go talk to the resident, calm them down and just give them a little bit of redirection and it worked. And I feel like if you're seasoned at this, you get it. But newer people are always just wanting to give medication it doesn't work like that so I decided to read a little bit more and it didn't last very long So this is not for any of my seasoned ladies and gentlemen. This is just for maybe somebody newer or whoever needs this advice. When you're passing meds or giving treatments, take your time. Be accurate. That is my best advice. Don't rush. I don't care how many meds you have to pass. Make sure you're being accurate. Make sure your bubble pack, all your pills are coming out 
So you rub your finger inside of there and make sure they came out. I don't care how many times you have to check it. Do it. Be accurate. Be safe. Make sure you have your keys. Make sure your card is locked. Make sure your privacy screen is up so no one's personal business is showing at any time. Afterwards, always wash and sanitize. So yeah, my best advice is to be accurate. Don't rush. Okay, so I'm on my way home. I ran up out of there. Don't want to be there no longer than not. I got to be there. So I was going to record me coming up out of there. Mm -mm, no time, baby. Anyway, I was probably about to stop and give me some coffee. Don't know about that because I'm tired. I want to just get home. I don't want to stop. I had a great night, an awesome night. I claimed that, and that's what it was. It was a great night. Everybody was, listen, the rain had everybody knocked out, calm, cool, and relaxed. I didn't get to show you guys much. Um, I have never vlogged, like did a work vlog where I'm actually showing myself, um, you know, passing meds and stuff. So it was a little weird, a little uncomfortable, um, especially because I wanted to show you guys the longer pass but I couldn't because somebody else was there. I didn't want them to start asking questions like, girl, what are you doing? Are you, uh, why are you recording me? Are you recording? And rightfully so, we're in a place of business with dealing with people's personal information and stuff like that. So it can get really weird and awkward. I don't know these people, I'm agency. So it's like, there we don't have any type of report. So it's like, what are you doing, girl? You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? When you're agency, you just go into somebody else's work uh, facility and you are recording and stuff, they would definitely be like, what are you doing? And then probably tell everybody that you're doing that. So yeah, it was kind of awkward. I didn't get much for you guys. So I hope you still enjoy the video. I tried to get something up for you guys. But anyway, I will keep rambling because it's early in the morning and I am half asleep. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> So I will put this video up and I will see you guys again with another video. I don't know what kind of video it's gonna be, but y'all know I'm gonna put something up for y'all. And I wanna thank all my subscribers because I love y'all. Period. I really do. Like I I yeah, we that's another video for another day. But anyway, uh what I I was going to say. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like comment and subscribe if you want to i would greatly appreciate it you know i really would go ahead like comment and subscribe you know you can comment whatever you want to comment ask questions and all that stuff engage if you got a channel you want me to watch and look at i will and i will go support you and subscribe to your channel as well support is a must um yeah that's about it we're we'll in the vlog here yeah. uh yeah Peace out.